Hey, how's it going? Well, it seems more apparent than ever that Google wants to make YouTube into a family-friendly website. And they want us to be the ones to do it because it would cost them too much to do this themselves by hiring employees to do this because the project would be too fucking big. But if they set us to do it, then, you know, that doesn't cost them nearly as much. It still costs them a bit to set up the programs to do this, and they have to create the databases and all of that, but they don't have to integrate those databases with anything else. I mean, feasibly, if they wanted to spend the time and effort and chance database corruption, they could have the YouTube Heroes program uh, set up so people would be categorizing videos and Google could have uh, categories like uh, um, uh, controversial uh, political controversial this controversial that uh, offensive for these reasons offenses for these reasons offensive for these reasons and could make it something that they could not only gear towards specific types of advertisers who are willing to make advertisements for those particular demographics, and they could make it so someone could say, oh, safe, uh, safe search or safe watch or something like that to make it so uh, anyone who has that option on would not see a whole shit ton of uh, videos on YouTube because they would have been categorized a certain way, you know. But this sort of thing would require uh, the merging of databases, and that could potentially cause some corruption. Which is the same reason why in 2013, when they switched from the old YouTube commenting system to the new G plus based commenting system, that they just sort of froze all of the old comments. You could you can't reply to them. Um, they froze those, but then allow you know still let you see them, but uh, you know switch to the new commenting system. So, you know it's the same type of reasoning, I would think anyway. So, and you know as Liz Reptile said in her video, which I'll leave a link to. I recommend I recommend subscribing to her channel. Um, as Liz Reptile mentioned, who was mentioned this sort of thing by others is the reason why Google wants people to do captions on videos is so they can have all this stuff in text so they can still use their algorithms to uh, remove content from this platform. And they need people to do this because, well, back in January of 2015, uh, Google destroyed their uh, voice to text capabilities. They they did it on on the phones. They did it, uh, and then of course Apple by the end of the year did the same thing to their dictation. Used to be really really accurate, and then it just turned into garbage. Um. So it's not reliable. So they couldn't use that as a method to. Uh, I mean, I think they tried, but I I think it was failing. Uh. To. Uh, figure out what is being said in a video and then use their algorithm for that. So, but I think they're wanting to make this a family-friendly site for the reasons that I've, I've said before is I think they want to make YouTube into a sellable product. And if they were to spend the money on actual employees to do this, then the amount of money that they would get out of selling YouTube would be so small in contrast to how much they spent trying to shape YouTube into uh, a, being a sellable product that it wouldn't be worth it to them. See, I think they want to uh, offload YouTube. They would love to be able to just close YouTube, but they would then be one of the most, excuse me, hated companies internet companies out. They would be the most hated internet company out there. And it would hurt them in every way. So they've got to find some way to offload YouTube. So let's first turn it into a family-friendly uh, website 
and not have to spend that much money to do it and then uh, get it ready to sell I just think that's what they're up to this means this is probably the beginning of the end of YouTube because I mean, let's face it, if they turn it into a family-friendly website and then one of the big six media conglomerates buys it out, it's going to become the next MySpace. It's going to, you know, in MySpace, yeah, MySpace still exists, but nobody uses it because it turned into something that nobody wants. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen here. And heck, even if they end up not being able to sell it, because by maybe by the time that they can try to sell it, that the companies look at it and go, that's like buying junk bonds or something. We don't want anything to do with that. Why would we want that product? So even if it, if it boils down to that, at least Google wouldn't be losing quite as much money as, as if they were to hire actual employees to do this work. So... This is going to be interesting to watch what happens here. Now, maybe they'll, maybe they'll change their mind on this plan. Maybe they'll find some other way to make money on YouTube without it being such a huge liability where they have to worry about uh, running a platform that is considered by a lot of people to be uh, one of uh, a hate speech, bullying, general hatred, etc., and a platform where people are constantly violating uh, uh, their, uh, the DMCA. Um, you know, maybe they'll find a way to keep it a profitable uh, business model without. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they'll find some way to, to make it a profitable business model. I, I don't know. I kind of doubt it. So I think this is going to mark the beginning of the end of this platform. We will have to see, though, how it is that this sort of thing gets implemented. It's all going to depend on how this gets implemented. And you know what? I signed up for the YouTube Heroes program, and I will share, I will make videos, if, if I get accepted, I will make videos showing you exactly what the interface is. What is it that they allow? Um, what kind of, of tools do they have to be able to do this stuff um, so everyone can see although I'm sure there are going to be a number of other people sharing that same thing but I think it'd be a good thing to for people to at least know uh, what these tools are going to be so and you know what if they have some sort of clause that says you can't show these tools well then I'll share them on another platform and I'll leave links to uh, to the videos on that platform so you can see this stuff. I just don't, we just don't know what's coming up, but I do think that this could be marking the beginning of the end of this platform, at least this platform as we know it. Because if it becomes the next MySpace, I mean, what good is it, right? So.